Let's solve our problem to determine the element stress for a plain stress CST element. Here the values of the x and y coordinates at node 1, 2 and 3 are given. The nodal displacement values u1, u2, u3, v1, v2, v3 are also given. The material properties which are the Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio is given. We will start the solution by writing the x1, x2 and x3 values. x1 is 100, x2 is 400 and x3 is equal to 200. Then y1 is equal to 100, y2 is equal to 100 and y3 is equal to 400. Next, let us write the nodal displacement vector u, that is u1, v1, u2, v2, and u3, v3. Let us copy the values from the question. We will write in the order u1, v1, u2, v2, and u3, v3. The question is to find the stress sigma, and we know that for a plain stress problem, there are three components, sigma x, sigma y, and tau xy. The strain components are epsilon x, epsilon y, and gamma xy. To calculate the stress sigma, we can use the equation d into epsilon, where d is the material property matrix, and epsilon is the strain. To calculate epsilon, we can use the equation B into U, where B is the strain displacement matrix and U is the nodal displacement vector. I can substitute this strain using this expression and write sigma is equal to D into epsilon is b into u, so this into b into u. Already we have the u and now our problem is to calculate the b matrix as well as the d matrix. Let's first calculate the material property matrix d. For a plain stress problem, D is equal to E by 1 minus nu square into 1 nu nu 1 0 0 0 0 and 1 minus nu by 2. The value of E is given as 200 gigapascals. We will substitute in megapascals because the stress terms we will require in megapascals. So that would be 200 into 10 raised to 3 megapascals or 200 into 10 raised to 3 newton per millimeter square. Also Poisson's ratio is given as 0 0.3. So we can substitute these values in this equation to obtain the D matrix. Now we have to find the B matrix. We know that B is equal to 1 by 2A into, we will start with Y and the subscript as 2 and 3, then 0, then Y. Now we have to change the subscripts 2, 2, 3 and 3, 2, 1, 0 then y, then 3, 2, 1, and 1 to 2. That is the first line. The second line you start with 0, and you go diagonal like this. So instead of y, you have x. Instead of 2, 3, we have 3, 2. Then 0. Next, second diagonal. Then again, x. Instead of 3, 1, we have 1, 3. And finally, 0 and instead of 
1 2 we have x 2 1 I have to put a 0 over here then the last line we will get by writing x 3 2 diagonally here and y 2 3 here then x 1 3 y 3 1 x 2 1 and y 1 2 and we have the equation for the B matrix and if you remember the notation this y 2 3 is actually y 2 minus y 3 and y 3 1 is y 3 minus y 1 and so on. To evaluate this we require x 1 x 2 x 3 and y 1 y 2 y 3 values which are already given in the question. The first one y 2 minus y 3 is 100 minus 400 which is minus 300 minus 300. Similarly we can find all the other values and we get y31 value as 300, y12 as 0, x32 as minus 200, x13 as minus 100 and x21 as 300. Now we can fill up all the elements in the matrix. Now we have to find the area of the triangle. So 2a is equal to determinant of 1, 1, 1, x1, x2, x3 and y1, y2 and y3. And if you evaluate this, you will get the value of 2a as 90,000 square millimeter. We can now evaluate the B matrix. We already have calculated 2a and all the elements in the matrix. You may also evaluate the value of 2a as the determinant of the J matrix and that would be you have to write x, y, x, y and the subscripts as 1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3 and this would be equal to x, 1, 3 into y, 2, 3 minus y, 1, 3 into x, 2, 3. You may use either of these two methods. Also notice that we have numbered the nodes in the anti-clockwise direction as 1, 2 and 3 for the triangle. If the numbering was in clockwise, that is here it is 1, here it is 2 and here it is 3, then the x2 and x3 values will interchange as well as y2 and y3 values will interchange. What will happen if we do that is we will get a negative value for area. And if that is the case, we have to take the absolute value to substitute here in the B matrix. Now to avoid this negative value for area. Normally in finite element packages, the numbering is done in the anti-clockwise direction. Now let us substitute all these values and get the B matrix. Here I have substituted all the values. We can further simplify it. And we obtain the B matrix of the strain displacement matrix as shown here. We can now calculate the stress components. We have calculated the D matrix and the B matrix. U is already given in the question. So we can substitute these values to get the stresses. If we expand this equation sigma is sigma x sigma y and tau x y that is equal to d. I have substituted the d matrix here. Now we have to substitute the b matrix and finally the 
nodal displacement vector u. 2.197 into 10 raised to 5 into 1 by 900 is 244.2. Then we can multiply these two matrices and we get this matrix. Remember that all the elements in the first row we will get by taking the dot product of the first row and first column here. So first row and first column, if you take the dot product, you will get this element. First row and second column dot product, you will get this element. First row, third column, this element and so on. Second row elements, you will get second row dot product of the first column, you'll get this element. This dot, this, you get this and so on. To take the dot product, for example, this element we'll get by multiplying 1 into minus 3 plus 0.3 into 0 plus 0 into minus 2. This we get by taking the dot product as 1 into 0 plus 0.3 into minus 2 plus 0 into minus 3. Then we have to write this u vector here. Next we have to multiply this with this. That would be a three row vector. So the first element would be this dot this. Second element would be this dot this and the third element would be this dot this. And we can further simplify this and we finally get the value of sigma x as minus 879.12, sigma y as minus 708.18 and tau xy as 341.88 and the units would be in Newton per millimeter square or megapascals. Therefore the solution to the problem is the sigma x value is equal to minus 879.12, sigma y is minus 708.18 and tau xy is 341.88.